rock right now, now. I wanna rock right now. I wanna, I wanna rock right now. I get stupid. I mean outrageous. I get stupid. What's good, mums, dads, boys, girls, all you people out there? My name is Max Star, and this is my insight SBTV. I don't know what time it is. Lately, it's been like a lot of work. I'll tell you that. Like, I just shot the um, video for my new single, and like, I don't get gassed about videos or things like that. But um, I'm, I'm kind of gassed still. I just been keeping it moving, trying to work and uh, feed the streets at the same time. Like, I'm trying to do freestyles for the roads and drop a tune here and there on Twitter just to let people know that like. With Max, it's like, this journey doesn't end, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep going, so don't ever at one point in your mind think, oh, like, what's Max doing? Like, he ain't really doing nothing. I'm here for the long run. The new single that I've got is produced by a guy called Show Improve, and it's called I Wanna Rock Right Now. It's got the sample from that old school song, so um, I think Snoop did it, but I kinda like my one though. Not in a guess thing, but yeah. Um, I'm feeling it, I really like the tune and it's been a while since I feel like I've had something that I can really say I like and not just members of my team like or you know what I mean, I kind of like this tune, it's definitely a bang or show improve, he went in on the beat and the video is crazy like I'm not going to talk too much about it, you're going to see it but the video is crazy though. At the moment trying to find the next single, just doing loads of sessions, trying uh, different things as I always do because I never want to be predictable to the people. My insight on the UK music scene and how everything's going is I feel it's a very good time for UK music. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but I see it as you've got like your people like your tinies, your tinchies, your chips, your wretches who have kind of come through and kind of represented on a overground level, like taking it away from the underground. And um, then you've got like I like what's going on with the UK rap scene where you've got your like your Benny Bankses, your Cash, your Krypton Conan, your Drew Blues and they're all, you know what I mean, they have built a new scene and kind of they're doing their thing. Music, a lot of people kind of get emerged in the thing of you got to sound like you're from this place or you got to do this or cater to people from the ends or whatever but music's universal. Music's for people in Japan, people in Australia people in America and um, I feel like with the UK sound what a lot of people need to do or need to try and work towards um, not saying I've achieved it myself yet because we're all just trying to work but um, it's just getting that balance of um, being able to speak to everyone like the moment that bar or whatever leaves your mouth from your delivery to your tone everything like the world can hear you, that's what it's about, it's about being heard by the world, that's all the UK needs to do. And like I said, we've had a few people rise to the challenge, it's just about some more, you know what I mean? And um, on a different thing, there's just so many people doing their thing in the UK right now, from uh, like singers and stuff like, I don't know, I like Conor Maynard's song, that's it's pretty good, they can't say no, you've got your Stushies, you've got your Clement Marfo in the front line, you've got your Josh Oshos, like there's so many people that are pushing to like get somewhere, they're like, the desire levels to achieve in the country are kind of high at the moment, I suppose. Listen, I've never said this in an interview or like, I only say this to my close friends as well because I don't want someone to feel, feel like, oh Max, you're mad, like that's never going to happen. But me, like, I remember from when I was like 14 and I used to write lyrics just in my lessons or at home or wherever, I used to feel like, I don't know, I might not get there today, I might not get there in the next five years or whatever, but my end plan is to just be respected as one of the greatest musicians in the world to ever do it and that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty big statement but like i said i might not be there today i might not be there tomorrow but for me i feel like within myself i'm not stopping i won't stop doing music until i do so it's just about recently man i've been more focused than ever and really just trying to get to where i need to be because a lot of people that are kind of cross paths with are like Max like you're talented like you should be doing more or you should be further than you are but I feel like firstly if I've made a mistake or maybe not moved as fast as people maybe expected me to that's me my natural progression and life and me learning lessons if I'm making mistakes and whether I made a mistake or not because someone the other day did like say to me Max man like a friend of mine said Max like you should have blown in 2010 like I was like bro like I'll blow when I want to blow, you feel me? And when it happens, it's going to happen right. 
it's not going to be rushed. Me as a person, life-wise, music-wise, and just overall. My advice for up-and-coming people is like, look at the game, study the game and stuff, but study every great, study every person that's out there, like watch how, watch their videos of how they perform, watch them in the studio, but don't try and clone them at all, because the main thing is, you got to be original. I mean it when I say that, like, oh, you know my audience, they just...